first product comes from the USA. American experts are actively testing this unmanned mini-tank. The model is called the Ripsaw M5 and offers a speed of about 25 miles an hour, a payload of about 8,000 pounds, and an open architecture that allows it to be prepared for a variety of tasks. The developers claim that the vehicle is one of the fastest and most maneuverable in the luxury segment. It's armed with a 30mm cannon and a 7.62mm machine gun. In addition, the tank is equipped with several types of drones, ground and aerial, giving it extensive reconnaissance capabilities. It needs more rocket launchers, but still cool, writes a YouTube user. Let's visit one of the largest aerospace and defense companies in the world. Our regular viewers will immediately remember the catapult chair and the unusual passenger seats of the Airbus A350, the projects also associated with this American company. And today, we have a project that looks like something out of Tony Stark's laboratory. On your screen is an enhanced version of the F-35 pilot's helmet. An augmented reality display shows a lot of necessary data and also allows the pilot to look around as if the aircraft were transparent with the help of different cameras. A special operating system allows you to quickly switch modes. For example, activate night vision, which no longer requires separate goggles. And the design with an optimal center of gravity and active noise cancellation make flying more comfortable. Unprecedented capability for the world's most advanced tactical aircraft, reckons the company. German experts have not been sitting idly by either. This anti-aircraft gun for ships is the result of the joint work of a local military equipment and armament company and a Swiss armament company. Its main advantages are a rate of fire of up to 200 single shots per minute and up to 1,000 in bursts, 152 ballistic elements in each projectile and installation in just an hour. The equipment has a 35mm calibre and uses the Saab system for fire control, with manual aiming available if needed. Installation requires no holes in the deck and no electrical power, and thanks to its versatility, e.g. it can fire at small surface targets and the open architecture of the computer system, the weapon system has attracted the attention of many countries, such as Denmark and Venezuela. The British company HESCO is known as one of the world leaders and innovators in the field of rapidly deployed barrier systems, and today's selection includes one of its novelties. Connoisseurs of military history should already be familiar with gabions. This word refers to a cage filled with stones, soil, and other materials. It's a method of fortifying positions that have been used in the military since the 16th century. British experts claim that their version makes it possible to erect a 33-foot-long wall in just 20 minutes. It takes two men and a car. Therefore, there are fewer logistical problems. The blocks are made of reinforced steel with a zinc-aluminium coating that offers protection and resistance against several attacks. Another innovation from the United States is this compact tactical drone that is of interest not so much to the military as to the police. For example, it can be used to search premises, negotiate with criminals, and inspect suspicious objects. The drone weighs 2.4 pounds, with an interchangeable hybrid camera that works even in the dark, and a microphone. The drone can also be quickly fitted with upgrades, such as a glass breaker and a tactical strobe light. The drone can fly for 31 minutes and comes with special FPV goggles. It has a top speed of 50 miles per hour, and during slow indoor flights, an auxiliary LiDAR system and the option to flip the drone if it fails will be a great help.
In Germany, a family of multi-purpose armoured vehicles is growing and expanding. The general name of the series is Boxer, and these vehicles have been used for a variety of purposes, serving as engineering and medical stations, and self-propelled artillery systems. And today, we want to show you this bridge layer. According to the manufacturer's description, it's possible to put up or repair a bridge up to 49 feet in length. The deployment process takes a couple of minutes. The bridge can be easily removed if necessary, and the vehicle can be used for other tasks. The basic version of the engine produces about 700 horsepower, and the independent torsion suspension allows it to tackle 30 degree slopes. Israel is interesting in terms of military developments. In 2021, that country was the first in the world to use a smart swarm of drones controlled by artificial intelligence. The swarm helped detect, identify, and attack targets. All the operator had to do was point in the right direction and give commands. Today's selection includes a system capable of controlling those swarms. It's called Legion X. The Israeli solution is interesting for several reasons. First, it's suitable for various types of unmanned vehicles, both ground and airborne. Secondly, the architecture is universal and can be modified. In particular, it's compatible with the ROS robot operating system. And thirdly, depending on the model, the system is capable of operating without GPS. It provides tactical superiority at all levels, the manufacturers conclude. Another Israeli development is the Iron Beam Missile Defense System. Many will remember the Iron Dome, which is also a missile defense system that will be complemented with the Iron Beam. The main task of the Iron Beam is to intercept and destroy missiles with a range of over a mile, as well as drones, artillery shells, and mines. A laser is used to engage targets in just four to five seconds. This solution makes the system not only more economical and unrestricted in terms of ammunition, but also easily transportable. Specifically, it can be mounted on a truck chassis. The range is up to 4.3 miles. It is mainly funded by the Israeli Ministry of Defense, so these systems are expected to be deployed in the next few years. Turkish engineers are also actively working. Recently, they showed a vehicle that interested many Middle Eastern delegations at the International Defense Industries Exhibition, or IDEF. It is a modular IFV with an unmanned turret. A tracked version was also shown at the exhibition, although there is also a wheeled version. They differ in speed, 40 miles an hour or 62 miles an hour, and capacity, 10 or 12 men. The weapon has a 35mm caliber and is equipped with an automatic active defense system that can shoot down fragmentation ammunition. There's also room for a laser scanning system, cameras, and even a reconnaissance drone. Additional armor systems can enhance protection. Turrets are often featured in many shooters. In Tom Clancy's The Division 2, for example, there are several types of turrets to solve various tasks. Similar variants also exist in the real world. For example, this model has already reached the testing phase. The manufacturer notes that it has a combat range of over 0.6 miles and an observation and defeat range of 330 degrees. It can memorize up to 10 targets, operate in autonomous mode, or be controlled by the operator. This can be done with a smart glove and tablet, but one viewer thought that there was a problem. The video lag allows you to hit only stationary targets. What do you think? Once again, we are in Israel. The same company, Raphael, has developed this missile system. The engineers propose to fill an operational gap in maritime dominance and deep land strike systems, and promise customers a range of up to 186 miles to hit targets in any weather and at any time of the day. There are two versions of the system for ship-based and land-based operation. Operation consists of the smart software automatically searching for and recognizing targets, and then enabling a perfectly timed attack. 
AI algorithms with deep learning option help targeting, and the missiles are effective even in electronic warfare. Operator intervention is possible at any time, and a single strike is enough to neutralize a frigate. These Swedish-built vessels are useful for reconnaissance, patrol, coastal defense, and military support. This model has been in service since 1991 and has been purchased by Norway, Sweden, and Brazil, while the United States has managed to acquire a license to build them. Needless to say, the vessel is regularly upgraded. This version was on display at last year's Defense and Security Equipment International in London. Engineers offer a cruising speed of about 43 miles per hour, a range of 345 miles, and two engines of 900 horsepower each.